Okay, hello, sorry. Uh, this is my Kyoto race report. Uh, I'll go through each 5k. The first, uh, it was a beautiful day. As we, when we started, it was uh, like about 5, 4 degrees, but not a cloud in the sky, almost perfect weather, and totally windless. The first uh, k was 4.20, 4 minutes 20 seconds, something, and that was a bit slow. And although the first five was pretty much flat, the we did, I wasn't that fast. I think the first yeah, first was about nineteen thirty-seven something. That's right. And the second was a bit faster, which is nineteen minutes eighteen seconds. But that was three of that well, three about a good one and a half of that was uphill, pretty pretty steep hill. So I was getting faster, but I didn't feel really any good from the start of this race. The second one was uh, 1925, and that was like up and down, up and down. So I wasn't picking up too much speed, as you see. The fourth 5K was 1924, not too much better. And the fifth one was 2009. That was a really steep section uphill. But of course we came down the other side but by that time my legs were almost shattered. Okay, next one uh, from 25 to 30 I picked it up a bit. It was 1919. But I wanted to be like <laughs> under 19 for all of my 5k splits but that wasn't happening. So, and the next one which is a, a doozy, I think from 30 to 35 was 23 and that's I really lost it after about 30th <coughs> after about 30th K I was really hurting I don't know what happened this race but I have <coughs> bag load of excuses I think my injuries that I have with my stomach and my groin it's still it's not better it just didn't really heal and that it was hurting in the race and um, I didn't tell you, but about three weeks ago, I was chasing one of my boys, just playing around, and I slammed against the door, and on my ribs, on the left-hand side, it really hurt, and that's just not at all healed. It's been, I, I thought I'd cracked it, but I guess it'd be more pain, but it hurt to breathe, and, and it hurts me when, when I run, and even sitting down, especially when I'm getting up from sitting down. I really feel it hurts there and that I think that affected my whole um, gait and everything at the end because I was hunched, starting to hunch over and anyway it was a bit of a nightmare race but the course is beautiful absolutely gorgeous course if it wasn't so hilly but I'd really like to run that in good shape again anyway so uh, after the effort I put into training and I was a bit disappointed you know if I didn't run now looking back at if I didn't run so slow in the last 10k I could have at least PB'd but really I was cramping at the my calves were cramping at the back of my calves and I just couldn't pick it up I was passed by about a hundred something people at the, in the last 5k's it was pretty demoralizing but I couldn't uh, I didn't stop which was good I think that'll uh, make me tougher if anything else but that last 3k's just seemed to go forever I couldn't um, respond in any way, shape, manner, or form. Anyway, let's put that one behind me. I, I have another, I'm going to rest up here, try to get rid of these injuries, and I won't race again. I mean, I have a, a 10K in uh, the end of 29th of April, and I'll try to run as fast as I can there, but after that, I'm going to rest, totally rest, and I'll work on my overall fitness, core strength, and things like that and build up gradually for some fall marathon, which I haven't decided yet. But I'm not uh, not giving up my uh, dreams of uh, reaching my potential. I think I've still got a good five years in me. And if I'm patient and I look after my health and I train properly, I think I can do it. I think you've got to have these few races to um, humble you and then make you realize that it's not as easy as you think. But anyway, I appreciate all your 
uh, words of encouragement and thanks for everything. Um, all right, I'll end this now and I'll put it up. Okay, good luck in all your races and uh, I'll talk to you soon.